I used to make beats on the side of the street, bro. I recorded homeless people on the side of the street before. Like, anybody who walked next to me, you was going to record on the side of the street with me, and I was going to make the beat for it. I just really wanted it bad, so it's a blessing I'm here. Rapper, producer, rock star, Mario Judah has exploded onto the scene to quickly become one of hip-hop's most viral artists. However, it wasn't an easy road for Mario. He spent years perfecting his craft in the hopes of one day reaching stardom. This is his story. Vigilante Beats presents Mario Judah, Origins of a Rock Star. High school? Oh man, bro, I was getting in trouble fighting, you know what I'm saying, dumb shit, not showing up to class, doing my homework, but not turning it in, dumb shit like that. When I was in school, bro, growing up, like, I was cool, I was popular or whatever, but I was sometimes popular for the wrong reason, because I was getting fights and shit, like, I was kind of like that dude, like, you know, like, taking guys, girls and shit. I was just getting in a lot of trouble, and then uh, my parents sent me to a military school. Once I got out of all of that, my life was changed and everything, I had, you know, got back on the right track and everything. And then I just got introduced to FL Studio. FL Studio is the program I make beats on and actually record on as well. So, but I wasn't recording, I was just making beats. So yeah, I got into that. And I just got hooked the first day. And like, it took me like 18 hours to like make my first beat. Like mm -hmm. I, I was like, I was that hooked in my beat. Like I wouldn't leave my chair. Like my dad went to work, came back from work, still, st I still was working on the same beat. Mm -hmm. and I did that literally every day. Like that day, I cut off everybody. Like any girl I was talking to, any friends I had, like to this day, like I have no homies, like at all. Like from, I have, I have my rock star people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my newer homies that I've been meeting lately, of course. Yeah. But like, like on the on the come up, like I cut everybody off. I was like, look, this is what I want to do. Like, so I sat down from that point to now, and still am. I sat down every single day and made beats. So because of that, as time went on, I started gaining a lot of weight because I wouldn't go outside and get any like any exercise. That's how much. I was sitting down, being productive, making beats. So when people make like jokes or whatever like that, I actually like, I laugh at it. And I'm kind of like glad that they say that because they don't know why I got this big or got yeah. this, I got this fat because I was sitting down every day, making beats, working my ass off, but not going outside and yeah. being productive. It's, I was being productive and working, as, but essentially health-wise, I just wasn't doing anything else but making beats. I was on my computer all day doing nothing. Yeah. So I gained weight because of that. You think so it's like a sacrifice I had to do. Yeah, this shit comes with a lot of sacrifice. And I sacrificed my weight and having to talk to girls and all this shit just for this music shit, bro. Like, I believed in it so much that I wouldn't go out to parties or talk to girls or even go outside to play basketball. I was in my room all day sitting down, just, you know, making beats. Let's go! I mean, from then till now, it's just been a, it's just been a roller coaster, man. Like, cause at first, I was just trying to be a producer, just work with different artists and everything. I wanted to be a producer only, so bad, right? Only, you know what I'm saying? And uh, cause uh, it got to a point where like the artists that I was working with at the time, they just wasn't like taking the artist career serious, which is always the case. You feel me? Like, you <laughs> always, know, they expect yeah. you to give them free beats and right. record them for free and shit. And it's like, if you're trying to make this shit a career and live off of it, you know, you need to make some sort of income, right? And then they come up with the, oh, bro, don't be money hungry, don't, da -da 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 -da, and shit just got old, you know what I'm saying? Literally, like, I start off solely as a producer, so I devoted all my time to that only, never had aspirations to be an artist till recently. Mm -hmm. and, like, I just took my knowledge and what I knew as a producer and just used it for myself, essentially. Now we're here. It's it's kind of mind blowing. Like yo, like he's making his own beats, but they're like industry quality. Like how the fuck? But it's because I started off doing that solely. That was all I was doing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I just took that with me. Bro, I used to make beats on the side of the street. I used to literally really? carry a book bag with all my recording equipment and a big ass foldable lunch table and sit there and make beats and like just wait for opportunity for hours, just cooking up on the side of the street. Like yeah. Grandma, whoever, it can, it can go. Mm. Anybody. It goes going down right here. Like, literally, cars passing by, like, behind me, like, 
screaming, yelling, like, and I'm still, like, maneuvering and making it go. Like, I didn't give a fuck, bro. I just wanted it that bad. And, like, a lot of the artists, local artists I was working with just was expecting me to just keep making free beats. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, just doing all the work for them. They not putting in no work. So, I got a point in time where I got frustrated. And, you know, January of this year, you know, people were telling me, you know what? If you start songwriting, you'll probably find a little bit more success. And I was like, you know what? I'll try it. So, I started doing that. It was, it was all right, you know, I was just recording hooks and stuff like that. Mario Judah! <laughs> Rockstar! Yeah, yeah! yeah! COVID hit, of course, and then I was just so depressed, you know what I mean? I didn't, you know, life was kind of like, damn, like, what now? So when that happened, I was kind of just like, you know what, what's the worst thing that, that can happen? I, let me go ahead and drop some on my own, even though I didn't want to, because I, I, I believe in staying in my own lane. I didn't, I just wanted to be a producer. I didn't want to saturate myself and become, you know, a rapper. Like, everybody wants to be a rapper, right? You know what I'm saying? So I just was like, fuck it, what's the worst that could happen? Everybody keeps telling me that this is what it is. And I knew the music itself was different. You know, that's, you know, that's how you, you know, you gotta have different shit. So I put it out, and boom, the second song I ever put out, which was just an audio, was Die Very Rough. You know what I mean? And then, but, you know, much later, of course, we shot the video, and that's when, you know, did what it did. Saying, it's a blessing, bro. Like, just for anybody to put the take interest into what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Not only take interest, but for it to just hit instantly the way it did. Like, literally, as soon as the video dropped, my life changed, literally. Like, within the first week or a half, like, my life changed, like, thousands of views, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I've been working for that moment unknowingly for a year. So, Wise Man once said, when you expect success, when you get it, you're not surprised. You know, so I expected this unknowingly on the artist tip because i never did it to be an artist i did it to be a producer but essentially i'm fulfilling that dream as well because i'm mm -hmm. still making my beats right mm -hmm. so i'm just like it's kind it's like it's like a checkpoint it's like a, yeah we did it you know what i'm saying now let's keep going you know what i'm saying yeah most would think it's an overwhelming feeling but i've i've stayed by myself and meditated by myself for so long that like nothing's too much for me like i'm ready for it i'm prepared for it and that's why i've gotten so far that's why i'm getting I have a real cold base behind me that's supporting what I'm doing and I love and appreciate them. And I'm gonna keep going for them for real rock stars. Yeah! Let's fucking go! I'm inspiring people and, you know, giving people hope to be different, you know what I'm saying, and be themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't have to have jewelry and yeah, 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 shoot a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't talk about none of that, you know what I'm saying? Bad bitches, none of that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, if you want to blow up, you have to be different. Yeah. You can't come out trying to sound like young boy or little baby, you know what I'm saying? Those are legends. Let them be legends. Like, you have to create your own sound. I guess, like, when you go into it, just head first, just, like, for yourself, making yourself happy, and you know that you happy, then everybody else around you going to be happy, you know what I mean? I feel like... That's a problem with most people. Like they go into something and they and the first thing they think about is what this person gonna think. What 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 is she gonna think, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So it's like you just gotta go into it just making yourself happy and everything else don't even matter at that point. Do not stop. Whatever it is in your life, keep going. Don't let up for no one. Parents, uncles, whoever telling you do this, do that. Be respectful, but on the lowest of keys, do what it is you believe in. Literally. Because you're gonna grow up, you're gonna be a doctor not wanting to be, and you're gonna be like, damn, I wanted to be a fucking golf player. Knowing that's what you wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? That ass. Like, no matter how weird or odd it is, like, do what you wanna do. Literally. Like, this is the time you're young, you're my age or younger. Like, do what it is you wanna do and strive for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm only human, and I can only do what, what, uh, what the universe, what God put me on here to do. I would not be here if it, for, for you right there. Cause you're you're watching this. You, David, John, Kevin. Yeah, you right there. Your sister right behind you. Y'all right there who's watching this video right now. Like I'm doing this for you. I want you to know that. Like I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? I do this for you. You know what I mean? Like I don't. Whatever your skin color, whatever it don't matter. Like you're a person. And you're loved, and I appreciate you, and I thank you for loving what it is that I do. Yeah. Anytime, any place, it can go. Down, rock star energy. Yeah. Don't worry about shit. Someone tells you that you can't do it, that you can't do something. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm here to innovate and inspire. I'm just like you. I'm 
you've been through a lot just like you have i just it's a lot man you know and i'm glad that i'm here and i'm not willing to stop and party and you know whatever just because you know what's going on right now you know what i'm saying it's a lot more work to do my mindset is well what's the next step let's keep going you know what i'm saying yeah. it's, it's not time to party it's not time to drink up and bad bitches here you know what i'm saying smoke up drink up it's it's not time for this it, it probably is time for that but in my mind it ain't time for that yet you know what yeah. i'm saying it's still yeah. more work to do it's still more grinding to do i'm cultivating an entire sound If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more content.